get boom, boom, boom. Gotta... Hey everyone, welcome back to Shiny Gold X. Um, if you can already tell, I'm kind of sick. Yeah, it's it's very disgusting. Don't even think about it. So anyway, uh, today we're gonna be doing this route because I really do need some training before the gym. And seriously, I guess some people don't watch the whole video. They just kind of watch up until the part where I say if if I if they if they want me to do gym or the route. And I guess they didn't watch the part where I said I was gonna do this route anyway. So I don't know. A bunch of people suggested I do the gym, but yeah. Later on in the video yesterday, I said I would do this route. So no, I'm not doing the gym today because I need some more training. I th I think I could take on the gym. I'm. I'm pretty um good for taking it on, but I'm still going to do some training. You never know what you never know what could happen, so it's better to be safe or uh, safer. Um let's thunder punch this macha machamp or whatever. Also, this one guy suggested or uh, told me that Houdini's moves were kind of bad and I'm just like what whatever. Because he said that they were bad, but then the moves he suggested are Psychic, Confusion, and Psybeam. And I'm like, what the hell, dude? They're like the basically the same move. Psychic, Psybeam, and Confusion are basically the same move. It's just that Psychic is stronger, and Psybeam is like in the middle, and Confusion is the weakest. So, basically they're exactly the same move, though. They're both, or uh, all three are Psychic moves. And if they're the same thing, why would I have all three of them? I don't know. Um, yeah, so... I actually think Houdini's moveset isn't that bad. Um, Psychic is really awesome on it. Thunder Punch is a special move, so... Um, I, I'm guessing he's it's gonna stay that way. Um, I don't know if I should replace Shadow Ball, though, since it's a physical move. Yeah, Shadow Ball is a physical move. I'm not sure if I should replace it. Um, and if I replace it, I don't know what to replace it with. And Recover, I don't really use it too much, but I really don't have anything better to replace it with. So, I'm still thinking about Houdini's moveset. And yes, we are going to be having to uh, fly back and forth quite a few times, because um, you have to do this route two or three times in order to get all the trainers on it. Oh, Zoomeril getting hit by recoil. Nice. Um, Jaws is not the best choice for a Zoomeril, but oh well. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Yeah. I kind of hate it when I'm sick. I fell, I fell asleep on the couch watching Teen Titans. It was pretty funny. Hey, look, a Swampert. We can totally kill that with a Grover. Yeah, I was just kind of watching Teen Titans, and then all of a sudden I just fell asleep. And, it, and when I woke up, it had already been three hours. Wow, I, I was like... Whoa, three hours already, seriously. So, my mom is going to some kind of concert today. Um, I'll probably be staying up pretty late today. I'll probably be over on Nintendo Walkthrough Dudes slash Datai's stream thing. Um, if you guys didn't get the link, I'll put it once again, but it's in the video I made yesterday. And actually, I believe Nintendo Walkthrough Dudes stream, like, failed or had some technical problems. So, it's actually in Datai's stream now. Um, that Ty was playing some Brawl earlier. He's playing Pokemon Yellow now. He's trying to get all the way through Pokemon Yellow. And I guess I'll delete Quick Attack for Slam. Um, yeah, whatever. Grover is actually pretty fast. He doesn't really need the quickness of Quick Attack. Uh, let's go to the right. I don't know why. And I guess I'll, we'll use Fuego Jr. He's got Fly. No. Um, he's got fly, so let's use his flying powers on this flying type, or a uh, fighting type guy. Um, he's got him a choke. Hopefully, Fuego can finish him off with a fly. Yeah. You know, I don't even get it, but how the heck is it that flying types are effective against fighting? I don't know, possibly because they have the, the higher advantage, or like, I don't know, the, the advantage from the air. But really, if you think about it, then they have the advantage from the air against every type. It's just weird. I don't even get it. And psychic type, really. I don't know. Um. Also, what makes no sense to me, psychic types, they are weak to bug, 
ghosts and dark types. What they're afraid of common fears. I mean, psychic types are afraid of bugs. They're afraid of the dark, and they're afraid of ghosts. Those are common fears of people. So I don't know. It's weird as heck to me. I don't even understand it. Um, I believe you can get some pretty cool Pokemon in this route. Um, I think you can get Gligars. You can get a few other cool Pokemons. Um, I won't spray any repels just because I want to try and find some of these Pokemon. Hopefully, I'll get some. And I actually did this all wrong. Um, this route, I was supposed to do it another way so I could get more trainers out of one shot. But whatever. I'll just have to go back more times. Uh, this might actually be a two-episode route because it's actually pretty long and you have to go back a few times to complete it so I don't know might be two episodes but hey we're getting some pretty decent training Grover's already grown a level or two I don't I can't remember if one or two but yeah pretty awesome I'm hoping I can get everyone to level 45 as I said like two episodes ago uh yeah I meant to get that hiker over there but nah whatever I don't want to call anyone no, I'm going to go to the right this time. And here's a berry tree. Hopefully there will be... Oh, Lepa. I need some orange berries for that cow thing. I really need some. Oh, hey. Leads to the same place, so... Pretty awesome. Um, I believe that is a second entrance into the dark cave place. Uh, let's see. I think so. Yep. This is the second entrance into it. We'll be doing that after the gym, though. And let's go down and take on another hiker. Oh god, these hikers are annoying. But they're pretty good experience for uh, water and grass types. Yep, Grover is getting some kick-ass experience out of this guy. Eh, except not really, he's got level 24. That's not, not too much. Not too epic. Oh well, let's just keep leaf blading all of these guys. Alright, so, yeah, I've got no school on Monday for Labor Day, pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to be staying up late today and Sunday. I don't know. Oh, another thing, I finally got that PayPal thing to work for MapleStory, so now I can actually make the video for you guys. I was actually waiting until I could get the Nexon cash to work. I wanted to get a haircut because I was bald and it was pretty stupid looking. So now that I've got a haircut, I can finally make the Maple Story video. So be prepared for that either later today or tomorrow. I'm not making any promises though. I usually forget to make it or it lags way too much because the computer overheats. I don't know, but yeah, I have my reasons. Just please don't start begging for it. I'm going to make it whenever I have the time. And we're done with the first uh, run through through this route. Let's fly back to... What the hell? Why am I over here? Oh, whatever. Let's go back to Blackthorn. And, uh, take on... Or, uh, yeah. Do this route again, but... Through another... Part, or something. Let's heal up first, though. We, we're not really too low on health, but we ran out of PP on a lot of moves. Um... Also, I'm hoping this episode doesn't lag, really. If it does, it's going to be pretty annoying. Because a lot of people have been telling me that the episodes have been lagging lately. What the hell? I went the wrong way again. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, I just went the wrong way again. Awesome. Hey, it's Teddy Ursa. That's cute. Let's, uh, let's Ultra Ball that and hopefully catch it in one shot. Yeah, I need someone with False Swipe or something because it's going to be pretty annoying catching everything. I don't know. At least we caught it, so whatever. Um, yeah, I'll reveal some more stuff about my next run through to you guys. Um, it's coming out later tonight, so just wait around for it, I guess. Um, but yes, I will reveal that it's gonna be a run through on Emerald. I'm not saying what kind of run through. It could be a regular run through. It could be a solo run. It could be something else but I'm not saying what it is yet let's go this way I believe last time we went through the middle um but yes it will be on Pokemon Emerald there now I've revealed what game it's gonna be on and it's gonna be related to a lot of other youtubers so yeah that pretty much just sums it up uh just wait around for it later tonight probably like a half hour after this one is up to uploaded um 
I'll just say it's gonna be pretty freaking awesome. It will be epic. Uh, Grover still gaining a lot of experience. Time for Pinball to get some action. He's, um, he does get Earthquake at level 45, so that's gonna be a pretty good toy for him to play around with, if I do get it. Cause Magnitude fails too many times, like right now. See, it should be hitting nines and tens all the time, but it keeps hitting. It keeps hitting six and seven. It's pretty dumb. Earthquake is just a solid 100 power, so that's a lot better. Oh, Golem. Golem versus Golem, except... Oh, God, Magnitude 5. You gotta be kidding me, Pinball. You have got to be kidding me. Um, I'm probably not gonna finish this Golem versus Golem thing, but, yeah, I'll finish it off-screen. Um, I'll see you guys next time, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Alright, beat it. See you guys next time.